Hey guys, this is Generic Person here, and I'm back with another video. So today we're gonna use this computer, this one, that one, and we're gonna try boon an old version of Ubuntu. So let's get started. I apologize for these squiggly lines. And yep, so this is a computer I built. This is the one I well this is one I do live streams on, so this and oh, that's not it. Okay, so it's not being detected. Easy fix, supposedly. Oh it'd be under this tab. So, no, that's right. Um, okay, advance. Okay, so now I have CSM mode enabled. So this is, oh, okay. We got a different monitor resolution size. It's like 1024 by 768. There you go. That's quite different. Okay. Uh, so either one. It does not seem like it is being detected. So we start this thing. But it's quite, that's quite weird because this old version of Ubuntu is 10.04. So I don't imagine it being that old. So I don't understand why the flash drive is not working. Unless I didn't write the image in the first place. Oh, it's well, that's quite weird. It's being recognized as a floppy disk. Yeah, I've had this happen before, however, so I'm not. So, yeah. Hold on, you know what? Let me fix this first. Okay. Um USB key, USB hard disk, and finally USB floppy in the event that ever happens. So save changes. Yes. I thought I saw oh, save changes and reboot. Let's see if this is reboot and select pop a boot device or insert media and select the boot device and press the key. Done. Okay. Um There I we I I did it. You know what? 
I probably need to rewrite this image. Let's try that again. So, let me just rewrite this image real quick because things are not liking that well. And anyways, also here's a Raspberry Pi. I think I should do some videos of that in the future. Turns out I don't have any um, screen recorder or so. Sucks. And by screen recorder, I mean like capture card or something like that. I wouldn't use OBS on a Raspberry Pi unless it was like probably the Raspberry Pi 4 or something. So let's get up a terminal. Should be in the downloads folder. take too long so in the meantime we can play Scrooge's card well, well at least let's I'll probably do a game a video when I, I compete in Super Tux card I don't know just and then we just turn everything up and it still runs good you know I do have Radeon on Radeon RX 580 in this thing but it, everything still works good even with everything enabled I don't play online so don't encounter me online on the super ducks called multiplayer several so so let's just configure these options. I'm a generic person, yeah, that's right. It's my trademark name. Not really. <laughs> yep, and uh, in the time it takes to configure Super Tux Card, it we're already finished. We have some system updates. Let's do that real quick. Because why not? We have some generic updates, but I'm planning on just. As you can see. Eh, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, this thing pretty goes. It operates pretty fast on the on an older operating system. I can only imagine it just going faster. So yeah, again, there is a bio setting um, that you may not have seen in this computer's BIOS. Um, that just allows me to use like the CPU threads as, core, as cores, and there's like the same amount of cores, the same amount of threads. The amount of cores is equal to the amount of um, threads in this computer, so that means I have 12. But we really only have six. That probably explains why for some for why this thing has good performance. Plus of the high RAM clock speed. No, I did not overclock it. And now that we got the image written too, let's just boot off this flash drive. Reboot and select proper boot device. So insert boot media and select the boot device and press the key. Yeah, we just keep getting this error. I have no idea why. Yeah, for some reason it's detected as a floppy disk device. I don't understand why though. But, that's not gonna be the end of it. That, um, you know. I'm a rebel, don't worry. 
Oh, what? No, I didn't mean. You know, we're gonna try something. Let's try this on a normal computer then. See if that does us any good. Yeah, what, what did what did I do today on the flash drive? Oh, it's there. I have two flash drives because we're gonna install it on it to an external disk. So this is a normal computer. It's able to one Linux, thankfully. And by Linux, I mean modern versions of it. So let's start this thing up. I'm just gonna let it boot because sometimes it's put into hibernation mode. And I'm not gonna show you the screen because this does contain information that I absolutely cannot display. And it does look like it is it was in hibernation mode. Let's turn up the brightness on this thing. Um, I hope this I said to get it over. And then the system does my reboot, so... Press escape to get to the boot menu. Yeah. Now this is detected properly. Let's see if it actually boots. Or it can just hang here. That's always a good thing. And the system won't run. On any computer. Even if it's like... Hardware that... Um... Sure it is. It should be proven to work. But okay. Um... Let me see something though. Okay. I got the information. It's probably because I have the floppy disk controller disabled, let me guess. Boot device priority. Try the floppy group, but I think the floppy disk device, the floppy disk drive should be disabled. Um, and if there was a floppy disk in here, it'd probably be. Uh, uh, let's just say that one. <laughs> Makes the saving changes. These are only temporarily, and I am going to change them back because I do not have a floppy disk drive in here. Nor do I have any floppy disks at all, and why did I just end up setting This one. Oh, it's doing something. Oh, you thought. Dang it. Uh, yeah, this is Windows Vista. Hold on a sec. Let me take care of things. I, okay, the installation media is not working for some reason. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe, maybe it's not able to run out of a flash drive. In that case, well, I'll be right back. Well, we're showing this thing now. Okay, install me. It is not working. Oh, well. Well, that's that, folks. Um,
Well, we'll probably do some next time. We'll probably, I'll probably make a video about destroying Windows 10. That or a live video, if you know what I mean. AK, whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, okay, so there's none that's disabled, and so we won't be using it. Um, help. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought. Okay. Needs to be legacy mode support. I'm bored, ma'am. The boot ones, no. Disable this. And we can just save changes, save to CMOS, yes. And I can safely shut this thing off. Okay. Yep, for, so that's it for today's video. Failed attempt at trying to get Ubuntu to work. We couldn't even... You couldn't even start it from the flash drive. That's just sad. Oh well, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.